for years, St. Bonaventure Athletics was dominated by basketball, and for good reason. I mean, they're fresh off an NIT semifinal appearance in Madison Square Garden, where eight buses full of Bonnie's faithful caravan down to the stadium. Unfortunately, it was a loss, but still the Bonnie showed out. But did you know it was not always about basketball? They actually used to have a football team. I know I did not know that, so I had to go ahead and do a deep dive, find out just what the program was all about. The St. Bonaventure Brown Indians, also known as the Brown and White, until they became the Bonnies, played from 1895 to 1951. 1895 was a long time ago. I mean, so was 1951, but 1895, that was the year that the pencil was patented. Can you imagine a world without, you know, pencils being just an everyday item? And then fast forward to 1951, that's when power steering was invented. Back when turning the wheel, you know, wasn't quite as hard as it had to be. But anyways, back to the Bonnies. They were independent team. They were not a part of a conference until 1926, where they joined the Western New York Little Three. They were in that conference from 1926 to 1949. The conference had, like, like you guess, the Little Three teams of Western New York had St. Bonaventure, then it had Niagara, and then Canisius. They could not survive World War II as many of the players were soldiers in the war. So all three of the football programs folded in the early 1950s. But let's let's get some accolades for St. Bonaventure. They finished their whole program with an above 500 record. They were 161-157 with 26 ties. And in the Western New York Little Three Conference, they had six conference titles in 1931, 1933, 1935, 1941, 1946, and their final season in the conference in 1949. And you cannot have a successful football program without some notable alumni, and St. Bonaventure is no different. They had NFL Hall of Fame cornerback Jack Butler, who played from the Steelers from 1951 to 1959. It was a three-time first-team All-American and led the league in interceptions in the year 1957. And then you have Ted Markabroda, who was a quarterback at St. Bonaventure. He made his name coaching in the NFL, where he was the head coach of the Baltimore Colts from 1975 to 1979, winning NFL Coach of the Year in 1975. He later had two more NFL head coaching stints, uh, with the Indianapolis Colts and the Baltimore Ravens both in the 90s. So this leads me to my final question. Will it ever come back? And there is interest. A 2010 survey conducted by Joseph DeLuca shows that 75% of Bonnie students would support a football program and 80% would go to their home games. But while the interest is there, there also are some hurdles and obstacles in the way. Funding is an obvious one, both to start up the program and to maintain one at the Division I or even the Division II level, whichever would be appropriate for the time being. Then Title IX also plays a factor where they have to have an even number of men's and women's sports. So they would either have to add a woman's sport as well or take away another men's sport, something that St. Biometric does not really want to do. So will it come back? I, I will never say never, but I do have to say I think St. Bonaventure would look great on a football helmet.